Hey everybody, so if you haven't watched the first video, I uh, recommend you do so, but so here we are. So uh, the authors claim that they know uh, the skin color of Shedderman because they analyzed it using uh, some tools. Well, the first thing I got to say is these tools are trained. They, they're using machine learning and they're trained using modern, modern data sets. So we don't know the accuracy for ancient populations. What that means is that you take a group of people, you measure the actual skin pigmentation, and you look at certain mutations, namely 36 for this one, and then you match certain combinations with certain skin types, and then that's how that's called a training data set. So you use that data set to train, and then you have the testing data set, which is then you use the genetic mutations to predict, and then we, we, we can know the predictive power of the algorithm. The algorithm they're referring to in here, it's it was published. is a is a fairly new one. There's several ones, but this one comes from Global Skin Color Prediction from DNA. It was published in Human Genetics 136. The issue, or I believe that's not the issue. 1367. This is the issue. This is a uh, might be the actual pages uh, 847 to 863. I actually have it right here. And what I want to I want you to take a look here. This is a study. You can see right here, if we go to the top, that's global skin color prediction from DNA. I want you to take a look at something. It does use 36 nips. It is a, a um, it is an improvement over this previous method that only used 10 snips. It was published by Maronias. But look at this. The 36 snip panel has a sensitivity of 0.26 at the ter uh, detecting people with intermediate skin color has a 99% sensitivity for people with white skin color and a 90% sensitivity for people with black skin color. So what that means though is, for those of you who don't have, don't have any math background or statistics, sensitivity of 0.26 means that out of 100 people who have intermediate skin color, only 26 will be correctly predicted to have intermediate skin color using those sets of SNPs. So that leaves 74 individuals, I repeat that, 74 out of 100 that had intermediate skin color and the algorithm failed to predict their accurate skin color. Now intermediate here it's olive skin. Keep that in mind and you would see that many modern day Europeans have intermediate skin color. Now if we look on this side the specificity is 98% so that means that out of 100 individuals predicted to have an intermediate skin color only two would not have an intermediate skin color. So it's a very specific algorithm when it comes to that. Specificity, for example, of white is actually poor because it's 65 percent. So, 35 percent of individuals predicted to have white skin color might not have white skin color. They might have intermediate or black. And then the black one, it's it's somewhat okay because this one actually captures about 90 percent. So, there's still 10 percent, 10 individuals that don't get correctly assigned to this category, and it has a specificity of 94. Uh, and then the white one has a really high uh, sensitivity, captures about 99%. So, out of 100 white individuals, 99 will be correctly placed in the in the in the white category. So, having said that, which is sort of like the meat of the argument, we see that this algorithm has drawbacks, and unfortunately, that's what we're dealing with. We don't have perfect algorithms, and we need under we need to understand their drawbacks. But if this algorithm predicts somebody to have intermediate skin color then you're damn sure that that person will have intermediate skin color because there's only a 2% chance that they won't. But if it doesn't predict it, there's a 74% chance that it, that it had him, you know, didn't predict it because the algorithm is only 26% sensitive. So keep that in mind. That is the actual math. And I think one of the things I want to show is like one of the supplementary informations. Uh, it shows that um, the shows modern day Europeans with an intermediate skin color. Uh, is it on this one? Let's, let's take a look right here. Let me see. Um, yeah, so this is intermediate right here, which is considered light. So you see a visual representation. Okay, we're gonna move this to the third video because I'm running out of time here. So just follow me on this journey.